Coach, tough luck. Uh, your assessment of the match. Congratulations to Amazulu Football Club. I think um, they got the two goals from us. I think those were soft, soft goals. And uh, there's one thing that we have gained today. It's uh, we have learned a lot that you know when you you have a good a little bit of uh, results that are coming on now. Everybody when he's coming. Uh, he's coming cautiously. However, if he sees that day, you are also, uh, no, it's not your day, then he, he's going to hurt you. So I think uh, the players we played, and I'm happy this game is over because it was starting to, 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 to get into, uh, I always try to be calm, but it was try, starting to get into me because I could see that we are not going to score. Could have played two days, we are not going to score, so I wanted it just to finish at 2 0 so that we can go and regroup. I think it showed today that we needed this break that is coming, and I can tell you the guys they need to go will give them the enough rest for them to, to go and rest and be with their family, and then we'll restart again. Um, it's a game that I don't even want to talk about tactics or what because the cup came and the cup game, like I've said, it's about character, it's about the fight and it's about a team that will do less mistakes and today we did more mistakes than we, than Amazulu did, it's just that they scored. But second half, how many chances we created there with their goalkeeper, no, I'm not surprised that it's man of the match, but I can't fault my team, eh? I think these guys needed this break. We are still on one of the cause that we, we, we think that we will uh, will come back fresh and fight. But we would have loved to go to the next round so that we can uh, uh, see how far we can go. But this cup has taught us, has given us a lesson we have um, enjoyed the run also in the cup, so maybe it's the time for another team to go and have a taste while we are still trying to fight and see that how far can we finish in the league. Thank you. Coach, obviously the disappointment of exiting the cup and what you had said earlier, not just today, that we had wanted to go another run at Kev, is that even though you're talking about the team needs rest, which is more disappointing that you don't get to stay on course to go back to Kev so quickly, or the fact that maybe the team did really need it first? Look, I can't. I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm. I'm just saying the results of football came and two zero could have been more. They could have scored because we became desperate and we are pushing everybody there. So it, it, it's one of those that. If you don't win, then you will go out in the cup. And we are not, we are disappointed, but I think our guys played well. They played very, okay, maybe not that well, but hard. They showed character, of which you would want from your players. We finished with a lot of uh, attacking players. We could see that we took a risk, but we, we, we try. So, yeah, the rest needed by our team because it's going to be a bumpy 10 games that are coming and it's not going to be easy. What made you unhappy today, coach? I, I know you said you are not angry, but after this loss, what made you unhappy? Was it the the, the kind of referee today? I mean, to to, uh, to me, that was a handball, that their first goal. It wasn't a handball. And sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't get them. There's a game that we'll watch here and then we will benefit from the reverie that did not see. So I never complain about the reveries. And today, the day we played, I'm not angry. You know, the fight is there and the goals is scored. Look, they did not create them. Man. We threw our own mistakes. And I'm not going to uh, pinpoint anything that, hey, this made me unhappy. No, I'm not going to complain about the reverence. No, it's, it's just that us, we did not defend the way we were supposed to defend in those two occasions and we got punished. What kind of words of encouragement do you give to Ronaldo? And how is he holding up after that mistake? He doesn't need any words of encouragement. As a player, you know. 
when something has happened to have done well you know when you have done some mistakes you know like football is a game of mistakes we just carry on we go there like any other we have won games here we have played we have played uh, um, a draws here with him on the goals doing well for the team so it's just that on the day he made a mistake made, he made a mistake and then it was costly so we don't even have to rub it he knows himself just to go back and we work as a team we lose as a team we win as a team i'm not even gonna single out him and say i need to encourage him no he knows himself and he's bounced back that's for sure with our support and you still have the decision you make to start in today Everybody deserves to start at Skuku United. We have been rotating the players. Why after you don't come a bad, you got to, don't become a bad player over one game? And it's a game of mistakes, guys. Just that there are those departments where when you make a mistake, it becomes the biggest of them all because the goalkeeping department, there's no one who's covering you. But there are a lot of uh, bad mistakes, bad errors that have been done. But they get covered. Even the goalkeeper sometimes went as far. He has made double saves there. He could have scored by that, you see. So we end up, we turn up saying, no, we forget about the saves that he has done. Now, guys, you've been long in football, right? I never, never complain about the players. They know themselves already that I did well. I need to improve here. I need to, you just need our support to take it there. And coach, Figo looks like somebody who was not out for a long time. He keeps on showing up whenever he's given that opportunity ever since he came back. Yeah, we are happy with his progress. Yeah, for sure he's not there and just trying to manage him well so that he doesn't break up, but yeah, he's coming right. On Elias Mukwana, Mukwana coach for Fana. It's not him, it's Elias Mukwana, the one is under 20 and we have Moby also there. We have congratulated them, it's always good when you have some players that are going for the national team. So yeah, it's something that is happening at Spooky United and we just, it's a process, we just we have to be patient with it. Yeah. Today it was another, not our day and we'll bounce back with that. Definitely I'll tell that we'll finish this league very strong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No